We enter the final third of the season and every race has been unpredictable. Despite this, Josh Mertz enters tonight with a 25 point lead over Cody Crosgrove and is inching closer to clinching his second consecutive lights championship and his ninth overall. The second place in points has been a great battle between Cody Crosgrove, Marcos Palacio, Brian Sawyer and Josh Clogg. Clogg, despite missing two rounds, is trying everything he can to prevent the Irishman from achieving that championship. He's coming off a fourth podium in the five starts that he has this season. With the only night race upon us tonight, we wonder what will happen under the lights? We'll find out together. NASA Rally Cross Lights from Iowa is next. Our venue for this evening is the Virtual Iowa Speedway. Opened in 2006, North American Simulated Auto Racing started visiting this circuit in 2018B, and this is the first visit of the lights here. At .66 miles and nine corners, two to the right and seven to the left, the lap begins with the tabletop jump before the double apex of turns one and two. Joker decision on driver's right cuts 11 seconds off your lap time and gives you plenty of speed into the penultimate corner. On the regular course, the dirt transitions to asphalt and it's very easy to overdrive turns three and four. Use up all of the asphalt to the paint line on driver's left to enter turn five. Down to turn six, one of the toughest hairpins in NASA Rallycross onto the short burst of the oval, followed by the final two corners before the jump that ends a lap here in Newton, Iowa. Our format for NASA Rallycross is as follows. 16 cars will be split into four heat races, six laps apiece, joker lap once. The top two will transfer to the feature. Winner gets three bonus points, and the runner-up gets two. The rest of our competitors will be funneled into the semifinals. Five lap races, joker lap once. Those winners will also receive one bonus point. This sets the grid for the 10-car, 10 10-lap 10 feature race where the points are awarded and trophies are handed out. Unique to NASA Rallycross, two jokers are taken during the feature. The second season of NASA Rallycross Lights continues tonight on the Automotive Sports Network. With Brian Sawyer on the production truck, my name is Josh Mertz up in the commentary box as we welcome you to Newton, Iowa. Our coverage all season on ASN is brought to you by NordVPN, your gateway to online freedom and security. Protect your digital privacy with military-grade encryption, browse the web anonymously, and access your favorite content from anywhere in the world. Receive 63% off a two-year plan at nordvpn.com slash ASNTVUSA. Also, our cameras for the entire season are provided by TrackCams22.com. And finally, our intro music was produced by our very own Alex Abetti. Coming into tonight's race here in Newton, Iowa, Josh Mertz has a 25-point lead over Cody Crossgrove. And like we mentioned in the opener, a full race distance, 28. So car number one inching closer to retaining that number one for next season. But the second place battle in points, Crossgrove, Palacio, and Clog all within four points of each other. Brian Sawyer down in fifth. The team's championship is looking good as well. TWR Struggle Bus 251, JC Simsport 240, and 226 for Slapex. These three teams have ebbed and flowed throughout the entire season, and 845 Subi and Zeem Setup Shop also having a great battle for the fourth position. As seeding ended just a couple moments ago here in Iowa, and Josh Clogg once again, for I believe the third week in a row, is fastest in seeding at a 37.788. Nowhere close comparative to the last two seeding rounds. Josh Mertz at a 37.9. Remember, the last two weeks, it was about half a tenth between the top two. Brian Sawyer, 37.943. Devin Hughes in his first start at 38.271, so impressive for the man from California. Matty Grove rounding out the top five at a 38.417. We begin gridding for heat number. Good luck, everybody. One joke. Heat number one: Josh Clogg, Matty Grove, Ignacio Tarusio, and Gerald Defino getting ready for this first heat race this evening here in Newton, Iowa. Clogg trying to go for four pole positions in a row. Green flag. Off the line. Defino in the middle. Grove comes across. No contact between them. Into turn one. Grove holds second. Tarusio third. Battling Defino over the jump. Defino will surge ahead and take the spot. Through one, through two. Grove runs wide, gets hit by Defino. Tarusio sneaks into the picture in the 42. Top two do not joker. Nobody jokers. 
on the first opportunity. Clog, Grove, Tarusio, and Defino. The running order through turn six and onto the oval. So many different lines that you can take here at Iowa Speedway. Most of the guys and girls stay on the apron, but you can run the banking, especially uh, on corner entry to turn eight. Over the jump for the first time at the end of the first lap, and Josh Clogg leads. Matty Grove second. Like I said, running order hasn't changed. Now it will change if anybody jokers. Clogg does not. Grove does not. Tarusio does not, and nor does Defino. So, again, no jokers on the second rotation. Everyone utilizing this first heat race, trying to get a little bit more practice, of course. As the track only uh, is reset before the heat races, the semifinal and the feature. So the track uh, was brand new for these guys. Versus the second, third, and fourth heats, it'll just gradually deteriorate as we begin lap number three. We'll get the first real lap times, 38.278, 38.9, uh, 0.2 for Clog, I should say. Man from Maryland, defending supercars champion, does not joker, nor does Grove, nor does Trucio, nor does Defino. Again, no joker strategy from anybody in the field. Usually you would, you would get a joker at some point um, in the first couple of laps, but interesting to see that there is no joker yet. As we're coming to cross flags, halfway home in heat number one. Clog ran a 38.2 the last time around. It just updates to a 37.7, 38.5 for Grove. That's one of the fastest laps so far this weekend. And that matches what Clog ran in seeding. No joker from Grove, no joker from Tarusio. And Defino will be the first one to take the joker of the evening in the 8.45 for 8.45 Subi. Like I mentioned in the opener, Defino and his teammate DiGiacomo in a fierce battle with Zeem's setup shop, Robbie Kirtley and Eric Dubois in the team's championship for the fourth position. And Defino will be credited with leading lap number four here in heat number one. Clog 38-1, so he did drop a few tenths. Let's see if Grove improved from his last lap, 39-1. He did not, so interesting that the track's getting slower. Just potentially everyone used to a fresh track. Uh, Grove, excuse me there, Jokers in the 472. He will cycle to the race lead. So the man from Pennsylvania, leading sportsman in NASA Rallycross Supercars. And leading on the road in the heat race. As we are waiting for Clog and Tarusio to Joker. And we are coming to the white flag. So he'll have to Joker on this lap. Will Clog and Tarusio. And I don't think there's going to be much uh, in the way of position changes. It might end just like it started in turn one. We'll take a look. Clog Jokers in the 199 comes out comfortably ahead of Matty Grove in the 472. Tarusio Jokers, he comes out in front of Defino. It's a final corner. It will be yet another pole position for Josh Clog over the jump. And what could have been if he did not miss those two rounds? And we asked that the last couple weeks as well. Matthew Grove will transfer best of the rest as Tarusio joins Defino in the semifinal. Gridding for Heat 2, championship. Number gentlemen, one joker, just one joker. Championship leader Mertz in car number one on pole for Heat number two. Joey Morissette, Matthew Bisset, and Robbie Kirtley. Mertz does not have a qualifying ban like he did in Bark River. And what will happen between the teammates down to the first corner as we are just waiting on Kurtley, he gets on track. The man from Virginia had a couple of surprise podiums when the championship competitors came together. He got six laps and one joker to figure out who will be on the outside pole here in Newton Isle. Green flag off the line. Mertz gets a good jump. I was gonna say Morissette matched him. Morissette pulled him down to the first corner. Mertz has the inside line, passing his teammate, Bassey and Kurtley cycle into third and to fourth. Down into the first corner. Mertz Morissette. Morissette off the apex by about a car width compared to his teammate who will joker on the first opportunity. And it's going to mirror heat number one. No jokers for the field. Currently hits the curb in the back of the field in the 024. He's back going again. Tricky track limits exiting turn four there. The paint line is the end of track limits. If you go four off, you will get investigated by the uh, stewards. As everyone respecting track limits in the first heat and so far here in heat number two. And uh, ending, excuse me there, the first lap 
in Iowa. Mertz leads. Morissette still holds second. Bisset and Kirtley. That running order has not changed. We'll take a look now at lap times as they'll begin to unravel. The uh, JC Simsport cars do not joker. Kirtley will pin the uh, pull the pin, excuse me, to the grenade. And joker in the 024. So he will be the first bit of strategy. We'll be able to see uh, really a joker delta on lap time. Uh, Kirtley versus Mertz versus Morissette and Bisset. Those three have not jokered. Kirtley will lead at the end of the second lap here in Iowa, 27-8. So Mertz will come across here to clock his regular course lap, a 38. So it's about 11 seconds, give or take, as obviously Kirtley has uh, jokered already. Mertz has not jokered, and it's getting good here for uh, third place Morissette Jokers in the 85. He'll be battling Kirtley on exit, and Morissette takes the spot. Kirtley's mistake exiting turn, or through turns three and four, I should say, earlier on, really hindered his ability to fight Morissette there. Basse following car number one as Morissette will lead as we take cross flags. Over the jump, a little bit of a mistake from the Kansas native. And Kirtley, like I said, from Virginia, peeking in. Apex beautifully through turn two. Really want to utilize the left side over the curb and hitting the sleeping policeman. Um, as there's less dirt there, you get more traction from the asphalt underneath. Kirtley through two, turn six, excuse me there. Basse Jokers in the two. Will he come out battling these two? He will not. He will come out behind the battle for the transfer spot. Because we haven't missed anything. Mertz hasn't Jokered yet. And the uh, gap, especially with his team car battling Kirtley, I uh, expected that the one will just take the spot as we take two laps to go. Basse uh, oh, broke himself. Kirtley did as well. Going to say Basse in the final corner. Kirtley did in turn one, at trying everything to get by Morissette. He was a tenth up on Morissette that last time around. So this transfer battle really isn't over. And Merce just minding his own business, waiting to transfer. He might be looking at the battle up front and uh, being entertained by his teammate holding the transfer as well. Down the oval to the penultimate corner on the penultimate lap coming to the white flag here in Iowa in heat number two. Joey Morissette ahead of Robbie Kirtley. Kirtley better run through turn nine. He hit the brakes over the jump. Car length between them at the line, but Kirtley was way out of shape on the landing ramp. Half a car length between them. He got through turn one well. Missed the apex of two. Remember, they have not jokered, or they have, excuse me, jokered, all three of them. Mertz has not in car number one. He will filter back through uncontested to the race lead as we pay attention to the transfer battle. Gap has lengthened considerably. Currently deep on the brakes, trying to make something happen. And he's got one last shot to do it. Final corner, Mertz wins. Heat number two, comfortably in car number one. Currently trying to find a way around. He's not gonna make it. And Morissette will transfer in the 85 as best of the rest, Currently and Basset to the semifinal. Grinning for heat number three in Iowa. Brian Sawyer, Jess Rakowski, Olivier Ratteau, and Joseph. Good luck, everybody. One Joker, one Joker. Joseph DiGiacomo in the 55. Inside pull for the second row of the grid. Still not a bad place to start if you win this heat race. Green flag. Sawyer gets a good jump over Rakowski. Down to the first corner. Ratto in the inside of Rakowski. Can he take the spot? Rakowski powers off the corner. Over the jump. Contact between them. And she does hold the spot. Into turn one. Sawyer leads Rakowski. Leads Ratto. Leads DiGiacomo. Who will joker on the first opportunity? Sawyer does. Rakowski thought about not jokering. Changed her mind at the last second. Leaving Ratto and DiGiacomo to the regular course. Down to the final set of corners for the first time to end the first lap here in Heat 3 in Iowa. Brian Sawyer over the jump. Four TWR Struggle Boss will lead ahead of Jess Rakowski. Four sequential Simsport in the second spot. Mika Esport, Olivier Ratteau in third. 845 Subi, Joseph Giacomo in the fourth spot. Speaking of the Struggle Bus, Brian Sawyer and... Eric Kaplinger are the only two cars for the team here this evening. No Marcos Palacio. A subscription error with iRacing and time zones results in the Argentine not being able to race here in Iowa. And that's the second bullet out of the struggle bus. So they, uh, they're down on a car. So is Slapex, actually, um, with Cody Crosgrove. He is out as well. So all the teams in that championship down to two cars. As Sawyer 
no joker on the third lap. Rakowski, no joker. They jokered off the start. And we pay attention to Olivier Ratto holding off Joseph DiGiacomo currently for that third spot. Best of the rest. Uh, they have not jokered either here on lap number three. Brian Sawyer has had terrible luck for the last three weeks. It was Atlanta, Daytona, and Park River over the jump in the 88. Clipped the side of the jump, nearly lost it as we take cross flags. And if you extend his bad luck to Spain in Norway, basically every race this season, the man from Wisconsin has had some form of an issue and out of the championship picture in the 88. As in the back of the field, no change. Rateau holding off to Giacomo. They still have not jokered. Off the road went Rateau in the 63. And Brian Sawyer will come to two laps to go. He was three tenths of a second faster than Jess Rakowski that last lap. De Giacomo exits the joker. His last lap was a 40.2 to a 40.0 for Rateau. As Sawyer takes two laps to go, 38-0. So quite a, a pace difference in heat number three here in Iowa. And now only one car left to Joker. It's Olivier Rateau. He is a long way behind, even uh, without taking the Joker, a long way behind. I don't know if he'll be able to get the spot over to Giacomo in this heat race. Rakowski looking good, holding the transfer. Concerned about the Joker on the first lap of the race, but I think she was just wanting to stick behind Sawyer and gain all the track time she could. As Sawyer takes the white flag. Still one of the fastest drivers in the NASA field. Just uh, whether it's his own mistakes or he's caught up in others' mistakes. Uh, Sawyer having bad luck like we described just a few moments ago. No issue on track limits through turn five down to turn six. And the short blast of turn three of the oval here at the Iowa Speedway. One of the trickiest exits of a corner. And uh, looks like... He's just trying to show off a little bit as Sawyer thought about drifting. He's continuing to drift, over drifts the car. He's still gonna win this heat race. Rakowski gets close as Sawyer. Rakowski transfer, best of the rest, Rateau and Giacomo. And Sawyer almost threw it away by drifting in true NASA fashion. You know, don't try and show about drift, it doesn't turn out well. The car doesn't wanna help. In case in point with that one, for Brian Sawyer. Heat four, Devin Hughes, Eric Kaplinger. One joker, everybody. Good luck. Jake Robichaux. Good luck, Apple. Steven Moreau. Six laps, joker once, green flag. Hughes gets a great jump over Kaplinger. Down to turn number one. The newcomer from California will gap Kaplinger, exiting turn one. Robichaux nearly into the 277 over the jump. Robichaux and Moreau, third and fourth. Robichaux nudges Kaplinger ever so slightly. Will we see a Joker rotation from the top two? We won't. We're going to be side by side. Robichaux, Joker's in the 69. Kaplinger hits the curb. Moreau does not Joker either in the 420. And Kaplinger staying on the rear wing of Devin Hughes in the 60 car, making his first start here in NASA Sim Racing. Way out wide, back out on the oval. Like we mentioned, numerous different lines you could take here in Iowa. Jake Robichaux leads at the end of the first lap. And we'll wait and see, of course, when the Jokers begin to unravel. Devin Hughes, newcomer to the series, like we mentioned. So who knows where he'll slot in on pace. But he was fourth behind the top three, Mertz, Clog, and Sawyer. Kaplinger Jokers in the 277. Clips the wall ever so slightly, but he does hold the spot over Robichaux in the 69. Moreau in the 420 Jokers as well. He comes out behind the 69 of Robichaux. So this leaves Hughes the only car yet to Joker early on in heat number four. Kaplinger begins the third lap, 27.3, 39.3, so still about 11 to 12 seconds is the gap as Moreau way off into the grass in the 420. And let's ride on board Devin Hughes for a lap here in Iowa as he chases down the heat race win.
Taking cross flags in the 60s, Devin Hughes yet to Joker like we mentioned previously. As looks like we've lost Eric Kaplinger in the 277. So the man from Illinois who was holding, whether it's the lead or the transfer, depending on how Hughes is looking here, it doesn't matter for him. He's fallen from the server and he will not be able to take a transfer. Brian Sawyer says RIP in chat. So his teammate dropped from the server and that means Sawyer tentatively. Of course, there's still semifinals, but Sawyer is the only struggle bus car in the feature at the moment. Two laps to go for Jake Robichaux. Steven Moreau once again deep in the 420, farther off than he was last lap. Hughes looks to the inside to driver's left. No joker yet, so he'll have to wait until the last lap. Challenging, he or sorry, challenging Moreau is Hughes through three, through four, into five, side-by-side -side action. Haven't seen much of it early on in qualifying the heat races so far. And Hughes gets by Moreau in the 420. Robichaux comes off the final corner to take the white flag, and I don't think he'll have the delta, even with that little bit of a battle. Uh, I don't think he'll have the delta over Hughes. So Devin Hughes looking to win a heat race in his first start in NASA Rallycross. Jake Robichaux looking to transfer for Slapex. Like we mentioned, with Kaplinger having to go to the semifinal as Hughes takes the Joker. This will put Slapex two for two, JC Simsport two for two, and Struggle Bus on the outside looking in currently with both cars. Off the jump, final corner and jump. Devin Hughes wins heat four, transferring to Jake Robichaux. As to the semifinal will be Stephen Moreau here, start, and Eric Kaplinger. Yeah, great job, Devin. Great job Jake, great job Slapex. Thanks, guys. Semifinal A. Good luck, one Joker. Ignacio Terusio, Olivier Ratto, Gerald Defino. First place is going. And Joseph DiGiacomo. Brian Sawyer says, iRacing is keeping the struggle bus down. Connection, payments, struggle bus is struggling tonight in Iowa. Semifinal A getting ready to go. Green flag off the line. Even start between Terusio and Ratto. Defino got a little bit better start and uses the 42 as the brake pedal in turn one. Contact numerous times between them. Defino's going to let him through as he comes across on his teammate DiGiacomo. This puts Olivier Ratto in the race lead. And it always happens to the elder Ratto. Something happens in turn one. He runs his own race and sneaks his way into the race lead. Very slow joker for the 63. He was the only one to take the joker lap. Terusio, Defino, and DiGiacomo, second, third, and fourth. As remember, the semifinals are five lap races here in Iowa. Ending the first lap, Olivier Ratteau leads. The only card to take the Joker. Terusio, Defino, and DiGiacomo, second, third, fourth. And Terusio's in a good spot because if he got caught up with the 845 car squabbling, which we know they're going to do, they've been racing for last every single race, which is very admirable. Treating every position like it matters, of course, here in NASA Rallycross. Defino Jokers, DiGiacomo does not. Where will uh, Defino come out behind Ratto in the 63? So we'll keep an eye on Terusio and on DiGiacomo to see where they will come out. But now this is going to be interesting because if Defino battles Ratto, this will help Terusio. Defino over the jump, right as I said that, had a bit of a messy landing over the sleeping policeman. And the man from New York adding to his issues in the 845. Last lap for Olivier Ratteau is a 40.230. Put that in perspective, Terusio ran a 38.601. And while it looks on paper that Ratteau, according to those lap times, won't hold it, I think Terusio might have had a bit uh, too much squabbling, but we'll just have to wait and see. Still coming to two laps to go. Terusio has the opportunity to Joker, along with uh, DiGiacomo. Two laps to go for Ratto. 39.658. 41.4 for Defino. And let's compare Terusio's lap. 39.0. So still faster by half a second over Olivier Ratto in the back of the field. Just taking a look. 40.382 for DiGiacomo. And let's ride on board Olivier Ratto.
deep into the final couple of corners, coming to the white flag here in the first semifinal, semifinal A. Rateau leads Defino. Over rotate, over into the curve, and around the elder Rateau will go, backs up nearly into Defino. Still stuck in reverse, can't get it back going, and he's gonna lose first, lose second. And Terusio is gonna easily joker on the last lap. And with the 10 car features, only the winner transfers. So Defino, Rateau, and Di Giacomo might be out of this. Final couple of corners. And Ignacio Terusio will be our ninth seed this evening here in Iowa, winning the first semifinal. As best of the rest in 11th is Defino, 13th is Di Giacomo, and 15th, Olivier Rateau. Semi final B here in Iowa. Robbie Kirtley, Stephen Moreau, Matthew Basset, Eric Kaplinger. Kaplinger back from the computer issues that he had earlier on to see if the struggle bus can make it two for two in the feature race. Five laps, Joker once, and only the winner will transfer like earlier on. Green flag off the line. Currently gets a great jump compared to the rest of the field. Kaplinger will get by the 420 of Moreau. But say look to the inside on the 277. Can't make anything happen. Over the jump for the first time. Currently leads Kaplinger. Kaplinger looks inside on Kurtley. Can't uh, make that move. Basay to the inside. Ran out of steam mid-corner. Who will joke on the first opportunity? Kurtley will. So will Basay. Moreau does not. He follows Kaplinger. 2-2 split through the chicane for Kaplinger and Moreau to the final corner goes Kirtley and Basay. Robbie Kirtley leads us over the jump to end the first lap here in semifinal B ahead of Matthew Basay, Kaplinger and Steven Moreau. As obviously those two took the Joker on the first lap just a moment ago, Kaplinger and Moreau, will we see a response from these two we won't. So usually if you don't respond within that first or second lap, you're waiting till the end. So Kaplinger utilizing the clear track versus catching back up to the field along with Moreau. As we take a look from high above here in Iowa, Kirtley leads still. Basay, final set of corners for Kaplinger, beginning to rubber in, of course, as we're nearly to the feature. And all the cars laying down rubber from the heat races and the first semifinal. Everyone respecting track limits through turn four on the exit. As you go through the left, we look at Kaplinger through the right. Don't want to go four off of uh, to the left of the paint. As let's ride on board Matthew Basset in car number two as he chases down currently in the 024. It's gonna get really spicy for this merge. Basay was the fastest out of the top three. He ran a 34 or 38-4, excuse me there. 38-550 for Kurtley and a 38-501 for Kaplinger. Kaplinger will have to joker on uh, coming to this white flag. And there might not be a gap between these two. We'll just have to wait and see. Over the jump, white flag for Kurtley in the 024. He's ahead of Basay in car number two. 38-8 to a 38-9. Kaplinger will head over the jump to begin his white flag lap. He sets a 38.520, identical nearly to his lap time that last time around. Moreau in the tires in the back of the field put him to 16th. Jokering is Kaplinger in the 277. Will he get redemption? He won't. He comes out behind Kurtley in the 024. Much faster is Kaplinger looking left, looking right, trying to run the outside. Hits the wall in the 277 final corner, and Robbie Kirtley's going to hold him off and be the 10th seed in Iowa. 12th is Kaplinger, 14th Basay, and 16th is Stephen Moreau. Ooh, nice try here. Nice try here. As qualifying in Iowa is over, the feature race is next. You're so interesting. I love your browser history. I like that you're not hiding anything from me. By the way, 
nice IP address. I like your neighborhood. You are so special. This ad is just for you. I learned so many things from you. You are so generous with your personal data. Switch on privacy, switch off trackers and viruses. Go to NordVPN.com. NordVPN, safely be you. Jokered inside Pog on McKenna. Contact between them. Well, Romain Rateau has led all evening long, but Schofield to the inside, and he makes it stick. Funny story about Brian Sawyer, he showed up to the track five minutes ago with zero practice and each lap increasing in pace for the man from Wisconsin. Mertz deep on the brakes in the 8-12, clobbering the curve to get by Olivier Ratteau. We welcome you back to round 12 of the championship overall and round 8 of the second season of NASA Rally Cross Lights here in Iowa. With Brian Sawyer in the production truck, my name is Josh Mertz, up in the commentary box, as always, for the Automotive Sports Network. Our coverage tonight was brought to you by NordVPN. For up to 63% off a two-year plan, visit nordvpn.com slash ASNTVUSA. Also, our cameras for the entire season are provided by TrackCams22.com, and our intro music was produced by our very own Alex Abetti. As we begin to grid here in Iowa in just a moment, Josh Clogg, Josh Mertz on the front row. Everybody go into the feature. This is where you must do two Joker. Brian Sawyer. Remember, Devin safe. Hughes on the Have second fun. row of the grid. Thank you for coming out and racing with us at NASASimRacing.com. Matty Grove, Joey Morris at Jess Rakowski, Jake Robichaux, Ignacio Tarusio, and Robbie Kirtley. Ten cars, ten laps, two jokers. And as we said in the opener, Mertz has one hand on this championship because his second-place man in points, Cody Crosgrove's not here. And that position has shifted so many times. It has been Clog versus Mertz and Brian Sawyer poking his nose in there as well. Thanks for joining us on ASN as we get ready to go green here in Iowa. Green flag off the line. Claw gets a better start in the first phase. Mertz will come across to block Hughes. Side by side, it's Sawyer and Hughes down to the first corner. Morissette looks to the outside. Sawyer pushes Hughes wide to get to third. Over the jump, Clog 
Mert, Sawyer, Hughes, Morissette, Grove, Rakowski, Robichaux, Kurtley, and Tarusio. Into turn, over is Sawyer! It turns one and two, and for the fourth consecutive week, Brian Sawyer has bad luck in the 88. Joe Green in the JC Simsport cars, and Rakowski in the triple nine, and Robichaux in the 69. As Kurtley passes, it gets passed by Tarusio at the end of the first lap. Josh Mertz leads in car number one, ahead of Joey Morissette, his teammate in the 85. Jess Rakowski in the triple nine, Robichaux in the 69. Clog leading the brigade on the regular course in the fifth position. Sawyer out of the race in 10th. We have nine cars left. Mertz and Morissette have finished their strategies already. So is Jake Robichaux. Those cards are played. Utilize the clear track. Clog Jokers for the first time. And it looks like he will get past Rakowski to put the man from Maryland in the fourth position. Kurtley Jokers ahead of Hughes, ahead of Grove, Tarusio. So now, with the teammates done, they are out and away from the rest of the field. Robichaux hanging on to Morissette in the 85. Clog exiting turn two. He will Joker now, so immediately countering the one strategy. It's the battle with Josh's again. Exiting the Joker. Clog will take the spot on car number one. Defending on the inside already is Clog. Will Mertz try and over under this early in the race? Ending lap three. There's a couple car lengths between them as Morissette third. Robichaux, Rakowski, Kurtley, Hughes, Grove, and Tarusio. Rounding out our order. Mertz the inside of Clog and turns one and two. Clog runs it wide. Plenty of room given between these two. Mertz clears him mid chicane. Will Clog surge back on the inside? He does. The 199 touches the one. They make contact through turn five. Down to six. Clog on the outside. Breaking on the dirt. Car was really squirrely. Mertz holds the spot. Defends and gets nudged by the 199 again. They battle for the lead. Rakowski exits to Joker. She's trying to battle Morissette for the third spot. To the inside, Mertz holds the spot. Sawyer's back on track in the 88. Claw goes to the inside again. Still side by side here in Iowa. What beautiful racing and respect shown from these two championship competitors. Mertz gets a bump from Claw. Claw to the inside again. Mertz on the outside this time. It's a repeat of last lap. Through the chicane, through three, through four. Claw powers ahead on Mertz, holds the spot. Will we see an over-under? It's so hard mid-quarter to pick up the throttle. And if these two squabble, Rakowski and Morissette love this. Back of the field, it's Robichaux, Kurtley, Hughes, Sawyer, Grove, and Tarusio. Remember, uh, Sawyer in 10th off the lead lap. Coming across flags already. We're trying to take a look through the field, but the battle for the lead is raging on, and the battle for third with Morissette and Rakowski. And if these guys squabble too much, uh, Grove might be able to sneak into the picture. I don't think he has taken a joker yet. Mertz still all over the rear wing of Clog in the 199, defending Supercars champion against the defending lights champion here in NASA Sim Racing. Just an update on the back of the field. Tarusio has not jokered, nor has Grove. Mertz trying to find a way around, but it is so hard to pass here in Iowa. As Robichaux's strategy is done, Kurtley has a joker left. Hughes has not taken any jokers, and nor has Grove. Coming to four laps to go here in Iowa. Gap is a car length. Make it maybe a car length and a half, maybe two. 38-3 to a 38-5. Morissette holds the third spot at a 38-4. He is matching these two on lap times. Is the man from Kansas in the second JC Simsport car. With Kaplinger missing the feature as Mertz off the track in the one. Morissette made the feature. Kaplinger missed the feature. JC Simsport looking good in the team's championship. Clog runs it a pinch wide in turn six, but he'll be able to power off the corner. Still no jokers from the back of the field. Hughes takes his first joker. Where will he come out? He comes out behind Robichaux in the sixth spot. These two are closer than they've ever been as we begin three laps to go. Mertz nearly landed on Clog. looks to the inside and turn two, nearly hits him again as they have been bouncing off of each other all feature race long. Clog pulls his lead. 38-3 to a 38-0. Morris at 38-9. Hughes jokers again in the 60. Where will he come out? He comes out really close to the top two. Devin Hughes in his first start in NASA looks good for a podium as Morissette and Rakowski still battle. We are coming to two laps to go for Clog and Mertz. They have been battling ever since the, the uh, lights went out. Grove is jokered in the 472, put him ahead of Kurtley. Tarusio comes out behind Kurtley. 
car length between Clog and Mertz through three and through four once again. Last lap, 38-4 for Clog, 38-6 for Mertz. He runs wide again, does it one more time. It's not going to be a fun result for the Irishman. And Hughes has his joker, or uh, finished his strategy, I should say. So this is him on merit, on pace. And if something goes wrong, we might see the newcomer on a higher step of the podium. We're coming to the white flag. Mertz. Later apex than clog clog defensive driving. Let's take one last look at lap times before we begin the last lap 38 2 to a 38 0 38 6 for Devin Hughes through one through two car length between them can't make anything happen Tarusio finished his strategy uh, No, he is not he's got one joker left so does Grove So they will have to joker here on the last lap and we'll try and catch up once the strategy unravels two final corners really one final breaking zone for Mertz in the one to make anything happen on Josh Clogg they are tied with three wins in lights to be the overall winningest driver in this series final corner Mertz hits the wall Clogg will survive and win again his fourth win shit, this right, season right. Mertz second Hughes Morris at Grove gets tagged by Rakowski in the back of the shot so put Grove back in the field Robichaux gets by him Sawyer off the lead lap. So Grove will come home on the road in ninth. Robichaux has crashed at the start finish line. I don't think Somebody get Jake across he is the not line. finished. Somebody push him, please. I'm in route. As these two still battling, Clog and Mertz, as the fireworks go off here in Newton, Iowa, we'll get confirmation of the results. Josh Clogg, Josh Mertz, Devin Hughes, the podium. Joey Morissette, Jess Rakowski, Robbie Kirtley, Ignacio Tarusio, Matty Grove, Jake Robichaux, Brian Sawyer. That has been adjusted. Rakowski got a 10-second time penalty. She's placed behind Matty Grove in the final results. The Drivers' Championship exiting Iowa and heading to Wild Horse with two rounds left. It is a 24-point lead for Mertz over Clogg. 28 is the max you can get per race, so... Uh, Say easy to say that the championship is locked up if Mertz makes the feature next week. Crosgrove, remember, he did not race. He is tied with Sawyer for third in points. Then no Marcos Palacio, 125. So still third in the championship. Despite That'll look great. Despite all the calamity, <laughs> they're basically fun. tied for third. Fun. Grove in sixth, Morris at seventh, Kirtley eighth, ninth Kaplinger, and tenth, Gerald DeFino. The team's championship, JC Simsport 280, TWR Struggle Bus 270. That championship nowhere close to being over. And uh, one of my cliche phrases, if something happens between the top two, Slapex is there. They have 252. Couple programming notes here on the Automotive Sports Network. Stay tuned. Next is round nine at Wild Horse as we do have that coverage on ASN On Demand. Myself, Brian Sawyer, coming up shortly. The 10th and final round of the Overwatch Specialty Service NASA Rally Cross Challenge will be Monday in Sonoma. Myself, Philip Krause, Cody Erdman, Brian Sawyer for that one, 9 p.m. Eastern on ASN Live. And the Woven by Toyota NASA Sports Car Challenge round four in mid-Ohio will be Thursday, August 24th on ASN Live. Our coverage tonight was brought to you by NordVPN. For up to 63% off a two-year plan, visit nordvpn.com slash ASNTVUSA. Our cameras for the entire season are provided by trackcams22.com. And finally, our intro music was produced by our very own Alex Abetti. If you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe to the Automotive Sports Network. And if you'd like to join us, all the info is at nasasimracing.com. The checkered flag falls on the evening from all of us at the Automotive Sports Network. From Philip Krause, Cody Erdman, Victor Valley, Justin Robichaux, Jess Rakowski, and Brian Sawyer. My name is Josh Mertz, as we hope you enjoyed today's coverage of NASA Rally Cross Lights tonight from Iowa. Congratulations to Josh Clogg, and we'll join you shortly in Wild Horse. So long, everyone. <laughs>